Well, next, the retirement of a gaming legend has come as a shock. To many, the man who was the best at the strategy game, Go, has said he's going to call it quits because artificial intelligence has just become far too good. Here's Bruce in Seoul with more. Shock and sadness here among Issei Dole's fans. Uh, at Twitter, user YSJ3 saying, we can truly sympathize as it's almost as though we are witnessing a sadly meaningless and vain start of a future era that man will face. Some pretty heavy stuff there. Issei Dole also expressing sadness over his retirement. In an interview, he said lately he's been listening to a song called Remember Me. And it would really seem that he's concerned whether or not fans and the Go world will remember him in the years to come after he retires at just 36. But I think they will. Uh, it was in this building behind me, this large gold building, the Four Seasons Hotel, where Issa Dole challenged Google DeepMind's uh, AlphaGo, an artificial intelligence Go player. They duked it out a couple of years ago at that hotel. I was at the first match, and it was thrilling watching man versus machine. Sadly for E, he would lose the first match, and he would go on to lose the next three out of the four. Uh, to date, he is the only human that has beat an artificial intelligence Go player. But he says the technology is improving, uh, the competition is getting even tougher, and you can't beat him, so he's out. And he's getting some criticism for bowing out. Uh, one Twitter user saying, should Bolt? a reference to uh, Usain Bolt, the, the sprinter. Should he have resigned because F1 car goes faster? I think not, that user says. Not everyone's happy. The, the world champ is stepping down. Uh, but he isn't quite done yet. He still has one more competition. He's going to compete against a South Korean-made artificial intelligence player called Handel. Uh, but after that, it is all over. Uh, but E's defeat against these machines um, on the other side, it's a victory for artificial intelligence. Um, they continue to improve, and Google DeepMind has said that this technology could be applied to other aspects of society. Uh, for example, the healthcare industry, and one interesting way it could be used uh, to train robots to take care of the elderly.